you beautiful people. We're going to talk about calculating slope today when given two points on a line. So say I have any just random two points on a line, right? We got to connect this. So I'm going to try to the best of my ability to go through these. Not bad, right? All right. So say I have these two points and I want to calculate the slope of this line. Well, I could, I could, if since the line is graphed for me, just go, okay, I went up one over one, two, three, four, five. So my slope is one fifth. I'm going to show you, though, how to actually calculate it. So remember that slope is the change in y over the change in x. We call it rise over run, which is what I just did here when I was actually just looking at the graph. But let's take the two points that we have and see if we actually get one-fifth mathematically. So my first point is at negative 2, positive 2. So I'm going to write that down, negative 2, positive 2. And I like to like write the points underneath each other. The second point is at 3, positive 3. So positive 3, positive 3. So you're going to do change in y. Well, change means subtraction, right? The difference between. So I'm going to take my y and I'm just going to do big minus little. 3 minus 2. It doesn't matter what direction you go, but you have to do the same direction for both points. So since I started at the 3 on this bottom ordered pair here, I go over and I'm going to have to start at the 3 at the bottom pair over here too. So I'm going to do 3 minus negative 2. Well, let's look. 3 minus 2 is 1. And 3 minus a negative 2, remember, keep, switch, switch. Well, 3 plus 2 is 5. And look at that, guys. I got that one-fifth as the slope of this line. And we can look, right? I went up one, rise, over one, two, three, four, five. So that's correct. My slope is one-fifth for this line. I can also, even if I don't have a graph, find the slope, right? So say I, I'm given two points on a line. So say six, seven. And then 9, let's do 11, right? 6, 7, and then 9, 11. So I can calculate the slope of this line by subtracting. Remember, it's always rise. Y is the one that goes up and down. Run. X is the one that goes side to side on the coordinate plane. So again, I'm going to do big minus little, 11 minus 7. And then big minus little. 9 minus 6. Well, really, I started at the 9 because I went to with the 11. And so 11 minus 7, 4. Sorry, my, my sound went out. And 9 minus 6, 3. And I can leave that as an improper fraction. Matter of fact, it's better if you leave it as an improper fraction. So the slope of this line would be 4 thirds up 4 over three. All right, let's try one more to make sure you got it. Ooh, what am I doing here? All right, so let's look at negative three, negative two, and then negative six, negative five. All right, I got a lot of negatives, but still I can do this. So let's start with the y's. This time I'm going to go starting with the top one going down. So I'm going to do negative 2 minus negative 5. And then because I started with that negative 2, I go over to the corresponding x, and I do negative 3 minus negative 6. All right, I could use my Desmos calculator. I could use a handheld calculator, but I think we can handle this one. So keep, switch, switch. Different signs, so I subtract them. 5 minus 2 is 3, and I have more positives, so my answer is 3. Keep, switch, switch. Again, different signs, so I subtract. 6 minus 3 is 3, and my answer is positive, so I leave it like that. And again, 3 divided by 3 is one. So I have a slope of one. I go up one, over one, up one, over one, up one, over one. So even though I have all those negatives, I end up with a positive slope. So you really have to work out the math if you're given two points, but not given the graph. Or you can graph them and then kind of use the method where you just walk up 
walk over to see what your slope is. Let me know if you have any questions. Love ya. Bye.